Hello YouTube, we're designing the door for the stove. I gotta take my glasses off. I always do when I look through the viewfinder on the camera. I just got that kind of set like that. Three and a half inches. By five inches. Of course it's gonna be a little taller because that's eighth of an inch thick, so add another quarter inch to the height. And that throws you off when it's not exactly square. Believe me, you'll see when I get over to the door. Found a piece of inch and a half thin wall tubing for the stove pipe. So the top will have a inch and a half hole. I'll make a metal ring that's in there like a little stub that I can slide the pipe on. We don't know how tall the chimney's going to be yet. Probably about eight inches tall. Here's my chicken scratching. Um, this bolts off a little bit. It's not centered, but uh, these are three millimeter diameter bolts, but the heads are almost a quarter inch. So, what we had to do was, this is the frame, here's the outside of the stove, I drew the outside first, in case I made a mistake, <laughs> I drew two of them. There's my heater going off, hope it don't bother anything. Anyway, we got a quarter inch clearance here, to come in for the door, okay. The red is the door. Which overlaps about an eighth of an inch. And I got it marked out for the bolts, of course. Now, here's your tricky part. I'm going to have a circle thing for the air. And I may add an extra hidden one on the bottom. Just when you start it. When you make these holes in here, you have to make sure they're not too big. So when you turn it, it hits the blind spot right here. I think you know what I mean. Say you turn this hole to here where there's not a hole all the way through the door. It has to be on metal to block the hole shut. So that's about a quarter of an inch. I may be able to go three eighths of an inch. I have to take some cardboard and actually make this out of cardboard and then experiment on what the hole size is. I should have had this X this way, not diagonal, because that made it more complicated. You see where I got measurements everywhere. Uh, some of these you have to disregard because I changed it. I want to make a stove where the vent drop down on the bottom. It's not big enough. If I do that, the door will be way too small. So, disregard that. That's a design change. And you'll see all kinds of marks where I erased. And when you finally get what you want, just go with your pencil again. Darker. And this is what I use. Mechanical pencil. And I'm thinking the lead is, hold on, I can find it, here's the lead, H I think means hard, B is block, 0.7 millimeter, well I had some that was 0.5 in, in a pencil, and that wasn't a very good pencil, it was not even as good a pencil as this. Uh, go to your office supply place if you want to buy stuff like this. This has been a really good pencil. Your lead comes out. I've got it out way too far. Uh, one reason is if you're using that with the cork, you need a little longer lead. But that's really too big to be using on this. But it makes a nice pointer. I don't know if I showed the video on this or not yet. By the time you see this, I'll probably have showed this. But there you go. Just a quick update of what it takes to design this. Uh, if you want to make this, you could maybe look at what I've done and figure it out. I'm sure you could. I said, have you ever looked at them stove kits where it had that little vent with the little holes in it? It kind of inset like this but it would have took up so much room this door would not be this big and the door is like two and five eighths tall and two and five sixteenths wide you know when you start coming down all these odd split in half and everything you get all these odd numbers half a three and all that other good stuff voice well, is kind of rough but it is nice in here uh not too bad outside today though about 70 degrees Anyway, thanks for watching. Just figured I'd spend a little more time on part two, so when I start putting it together, you 
figure out how I came up with the design of it. So we're out of here. We had enough of this. It's the end of the day. We will take a couple of pictures so you can make sure to look at them.